meal to have here in Jollibee. Again, if you like this, <laughs> if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today we're gonna start our tour of uh, Six Flags New Jersey, uh, Great Adventure, Hurricane yeah, Harbor, so and Safari. So first we're gonna try the uh, drive-through safari. Um, we're just gonna go through like one to two hours seeing uh, animals in the zoo. And afterwards, if we still have time, um, we would still be able to uh, tackle some of the rides. So uh, catch you later guys, it's time for fun. Welcome to Jollibee. <laughs> I hope we don't see the Indominus Rex. <laughs> What's this, girl? Ankylosaurus. Wow. What can, can you, you say about it? What can you say? What's that dance for again, Kelly? A potosaurus. Hi, na. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Can you imagine? Start our tour of Six Flags you know, Great Adventure. <laughs> well, we decided to uh, start the safari and then we're gonna take the rides later. So, so going to this safari made me go back to my biology lessons when I was a kid, and I have really had to do research to identify these animals because I mean, Kelly was able to identify my baby cousin, Kelly was able to identify most of them, but for me, I truly had to like uh, go back to identify the names of these animals. So, I hope we don't see the Indominus Rex. I, <laughs> I truly loved science channels when I was a kid. Um, History Channel, Discovery, National Geographic. And seeing these animals in person and in their natural state is really, really quite different compared to just seeing them on TV. Because you could not appreciate how big they are and how amazing they are unless you see them for yourself. I truly wanted to see how bison look like up close, but I mean, during this time, uh, they were so far off that you can't really get a good angle of, to the camera. This North American bison. No. Again, these elephants were huge. Oh my god. Look at those elephants! Oh my god, look at the rhino over there, Kelly.
one of the coolest animals for me is the rhinoceros or the rhino but I wish I could give you a great shot but again uh, during the time of our visit it was like 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit so they were on the shade just chilling so they were really really far off from the camera and the uh, park staff were super friendly which is a plus that one Kelly. And again, uh, most of the antelope that you see here are so far off from the camera because they're chilling under a tree because it's really really hot during our visit. So the speed limit in this safari was like 5 miles per hour and there's a reason for that because once we get to this uh, part of the park where these antelope are, the white-tailed gnu, um, I'm not sure if that was how you pronounce it but they truly did not care if your car was uh, moving so you gotta make way for them and you have to be careful because they're, they're truly running around the park uh, freely. As you can see, they truly own the place. So, you better be careful in driving, otherwise you have to call Geico. If one of those horns touches our car, Kelly, we're gonna call Geico. Because they're gonna damage the car. You can see Simba resting over there. And truly, these lions look really awesome. That's why they're called the king of the jungle, I guess. I saw the cops! Mommy, I saw the Uh, <laughs> right now, we're going to the bear <laughs> reservation. Hello, me. Hello. Hello. So, these cattle were domesticated in Africa, and truly, they look like Texas longhorns, except they have larger horns. So. So they place animal feed close to the electrified wire so that people can have a good close-up look at the animals. And seeing these bears up close was truly amazing, really. I would be chilling too. Yeah, 
and tigers are one of my favorites too. Truly one of the most amazing members of the big cat family. And that's why they're called big cats. <laughs> There, a uh, bill. So these guys must feel really, really warm because of all their fur uh, during the summer. I mean. This yaks usually live in the uh, alpine mines of the Himalayas, so it must be really hot for them. See <laughs> that? Kelly, 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 Oh, and by the way, uh, if you want to enter the safari and the uh, the dino expedition, you just have to add like nine dollars a person uh, after you purchase your uh, season pass. Oh, but you can you want to go down? No, no you can't. <laughs> oh, you can't no, go down? No, that's not allowed. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh. Okay, roll down the window. There. Yeah. yeah, first of all, okay. thank God these guys are extinct. Uh, so through the Dino Expedition Park, um, you have models of dinosaurs. Uh, they move and they also produce sounds uh, to give us an idea how uh, dinosaurs lived before uh, millions of years ago. So you can truly imagine the fear that you're going to feel if you're going to get chased by one of these things. was truly scared of this dinosaur. What can you say? What's that dinosaur again, Kelly? A potosaur. I know. You know, I wish I had a degree in paleontology to identify these dinosaurs, but I just leave it to my baby cousin to identify most of them. <laughs> What's this, Kel? Ankylosaurus. Wow.
so we decided to conclude our trip from in uh, Six Flags, New Jersey by uh, uh, eating in Jollibee here in New Jersey. Right, Kelly? What is this burger in New Jersey? So of course there are a lot of Jollibee spots here in the United States, but uh, in particular uh, Jersey City has been the uh, the epicenter of uh, the Filipino community. So it just follows that here in Jersey City we're gonna have a Jollibee, so we're gonna try their Jollibee here. like <laughs> if you like this video like comment and subscribe see you later with the next video guys